Hello, my 3D printing friends. Uh, wait a minute, that's Brian Vimes. Let me try that again. Hey, this is Jerry, and you're watching 3D HP. Thank you for sticking around past intro. I really appreciate it. Well, today I'd like to talk about uh, the Ender 3 V2 and the bed springs that are on the printer. When I built this printer, I noticed that the springs were kind of weak and they weren't like the older ones they used to put on all the printers. The really super heavy duty yellow ones that are flat in between the layers so that when you tighten up your wheel and you compress them, they do not move, they stay in place, they can't shift. On the Ender 3 V2, which is a great little printer, the springs are rounded, they're weaker, and when you crank the knobs down all the way and slide the bed back, it runs into the stepper motor and the housing on the stepper motor. And if you bring it up just slightly and get them a little bit looser, then the heater underneath that has the captain tape on it tends to hit it a little bit, and that's not good. So today we're going to upgrade the, spring, the springs. It's really easy. If you don't already have springs laying around from a prior Creality printer, the yellow ones, I'll have a link in the description below where you can buy them from a couple different places. But here's how easy it is. Unplug your printer, move it somewhere where you can get to it and work on it. Just unscrew all the wheels. I think it's righty tighty lefty loosey, but I kind of get backwards here. You can press down the bed a little bit and you can get the knob spinning faster. Alrighty. Now I'm just going to lift it up just we take the new ones out of the pack. And the reason I have so many extra yellow springs in a drawer over there is because I put auto bed leveling systems on most of my printers. When I did that, I put on solid uh, bed mounts that I got from TH3D Studios. Those work great, um, or you can simply crank your springs down really tight, and you can do it that way also if you choose not to put solid bed mounts on. But when you look at this little spring here, you can see how springy that is. And look at this, the bigger, taller, older one. The other ones from Creality, they're much taller. They have very little give in them. And when they do compress, they lay flat. The layers are flat and they lay on top of each other and they won't move. It's like a solid piece when they're crunched. These other ones have a lot of give. They're not very good springs. But like I say, it's a great little printer. And for the price, you can't get every single possible bell and whistle. If they included every possible feature anybody would ever want, then you know there's no room for upgrades. So, but but anyway, getting past that. Simply set a yellow spring underneath each bolt. Sometimes this can be a little tricky when you get to the third one, the third and the fourth. Let's go to the back. Lift up just high enough that you can get the yellow spring on. And of course, sometimes they'll fall off, and if that happens, no biggie, just give it a minute, put them back on. And once you get all four in place, just slide them around, and each, each uh, bolt will drop back down in the hole. And then simply just put all the wheels back on. And it's that simple. Simply put your nuts back on, put the wheels back on, tighten them up, re-level the bed, and you're good to go. Now your bed is very stable. It has plenty of clearance over top of the housing for the rear stepper motor, and you have, you'll have no more issues ever. Take your uh, old springs, find a garbage can, and throw them away. Thank you for watching, everybody. Happy printing.